Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my channel called So Notes. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit of a mix of hashtag Friday sews and a bit of fit check Sunday. I wasn't able to fil film my Friday sews in time for Friday. So I figured I'd combine the two because I feel like I have a lot to talk about. It's a mishmash of things and then I have a fit check Sunday. So why not combine the two hashtag Friday sews and my fit check Sunday. So uh, we'll talk about Friday sews first and then we'll talk about fit check Sunday. So if you're interested in one or the other, you could stop the video whenever. So here we go. This is my version of hashtag Friday sews. And I encourage you to check out the hashtag to see what the other vloggers have been up to for the week. Um, I haven't been filming much, but I've been working. I'm, I've been busy. So the first thing I wanted to show you is I am a design team member for the printable, cuttable, creatables uh, design team. And this was my latest project. It, uh, it was on the YouTube channel on August 2nd. So I will leave a link so that you could check out my video on the Printable Cuttable Creatables uh, YouTube channel. But yeah, first day of school chalkboard sign um, and I take you along how I designed it and uh, it was a lot of fun. My daughter and I worked on this together. She helped design it and uh, I think it turned out wonderful. So that link will be in the description box below. The next thing I wanted to share is, I remember talking about this a couple weeks ago, but I forgot to give you an update, but this is my Linda Top by Vicky Sews. I've had this pattern for a couple years now, and this is my fourth attempt, and I got the fit perfect on this. If I have a picture, I will insert a picture um, on my last version. Sherry from Granny Sewing Room. I was getting some gaping going on at the neckline and I just figured it was from stretching out in the sewing process. But Sherry sent me a video on how to fix gaping neckline and I followed that video and I believe now I have the perfect fit. And this is with that fabric I got from Michaels, uh, the Singer fabric. And I, I love this, this is perfect for the summer and uh, I finished a pair of black Allegros to go with this. And then on top of that, I finished another Allegro. So I think this is my sixth pair now. So this is my next pair. I shortened it a little bit. I did a refashion using the Allegro pattern and I had to shorten it a little bit to use the fabric that I was refashioning. This isn't the refashion though. This is an extra pair. So this might be number seven actually. Um, the only thing is, I don't like the waistband that I use. Actually, my little secret for my Allegro's and my elastic waistband is I actually use the fancy elastic waistband for my Allegro's. It's the it's the fancy elastic, it's the fancy waistband elastic that they use on like boxers or they use on exposed um, skirts. Anything that's exposed that you could see the elastic, I actually use that kind of elastic in all of my Allegro's except for this one because I didn't have any more and I'm just not a fan so I've left the casing open where is it yeah I left the casing open so that when I do get more of that elastic I will insert it in here but this fabric I believe it's a chambray so little backstory is when I got my corner unit I have a corner unit sewing desk when I bought that I was only buying like I went to this house to only buy the corner unit and when I bought it they offered me everything for the price that I was willing to pay for the corner unit they offered me another sewing machine a serger and a whack load of fabric and so this person whose stuff I essentially got she was a quilter and you know, at the time of getting that stuff, I just briefly looked at it, and this was four years ago now, so I briefly looked at it, and whatever caught my eye caught my eye, and I took out, and I put the rest in storage, hoping to come back to it. So I had just come back to those boxes of fabric, uh, I would say, last month, and I had realized that she had a lot of quilts started, and she has a lot of 
quilting cottons and yardage for quilts that I hope to be inspired one day to actually finish because she has a lot she has about five or she had sorry past tense she had about five quilts started and I plan on filming a video and showing you these quilts that she started and the fabrics that are being used but this fabric was in there there was just a small piece and I seen the fabric a month ago and I was like, that would be perfect for Allegro. So that's where this fabric came from. I'm not sure the content. I think it's some sort of cotton, cotton linen chambray. I don't know, something, but they're nice. They turned out great. And I used my cover stitch for the hem and just, a side note, I'm really loving that cover stitch now. I thought I could only use it on knits, and I haven't been sewing much knits lately. Um, so I was kind of bummed about that, but I've been using it for hemming my wovens, and I love that machine. Uh, I figured out a way to get the thread off. It's kind of finicky to get the thread off, but I finally, I have finally understood why we do it the way that we do it. And I could even show you a video of that in the future. Uh, my plate's a little bit full now, so I won't do it just yet, but I'm really liking that cover stitch. So. so the next thing is I did a pattern test for the lovely Jane, and she is now called the Dressmaker's Closet. She used to be uh, Loopy Mabel's Closet, but now she's the Dressmaker's Closet, and she had a tester call for a knit, a knit shirt, and I had time, and I love Jane, and I wanted to help her out with this pattern, so this is being released today I believe I will have a review separately from this but this is the Nell top and dress pattern and I tested the t-shirt length I used some bamboo um, spandex bamboo spandex and I love this I love I absolutely love the sleeves on this so just a little puff at the cuff and I'll insert a picture of me wearing this, but I, Jane made such a beautiful pattern. I love this and all the testers made such beautiful, there's, there's a dress version, there's a hip version, there's a high hip version, and there's a t-shirt length. And a lot of the testers used some like floral or pattern jersey, so that's what I'm gonna be doing next is I think I wanna do the one with the two tiers and have this one be like a pattern tier and a solid color, but this is my t-shirt length and I love it. So Jane, if you're watching, thank you for, so much for letting me test this pattern. And I will have a link below so that you could go check out Jane's newest pattern, all right? If you haven't heard my excitement or seen my video yet, um, Sherry and April from uh, So April and Sherry from Granny Sewing Room, we finish our Hyrith bag and I love this bag. It's my fall bag, so I haven't been using it yet, but I can't wait to use it. And speaking of this is I love this pattern so much. I want to make another one. Um, I actually have fabric left over from my margarita bag. I will show a picture of my margarita bag. I have fabric left over that I could potentially make a hyrith bag. Uh, let me know in the comments below, should I make a hyrith bag using, so I'll show you here. So this would be, this would be the black floral quilting cotton that I had. And then the, this and this part would be the hot pink vinyl and then I would have gold hardware. So let me know if I should make the high with using my margarita fabrics. Quilting, black floral, quilting cotton, hot pink vinyl. Let me know, because I'm itching to make another one. All right, and one more thing I wanted to ask is, so it was our, uh, yeah, I'll talk about it and then we'll go right into Fit Check Sunday. So on the Thursday, August 4th, was our 10 year wedding anniversary. I don't have my dress finished, but that's okay. But I found this dress to wear for our dinner date and I wore it and I loved it. Now I'm asking you out there, do you know a pattern that is similar to this? So it's like a corset kind of thing, like it has bra cups, it's padded on the inside. 
I like that it has the black trimming, okay? Has straps. I don't care about the style of straps, whatever style of straps, but what I most what I most care about is this corset kind of top and then it has the ruching or not ruching the sheared back. So if you know of a pattern that is very similar to this, I would love to hear uh, what patterns you recommend because I wouldn't mind recreating something like this. I love this. I loved wearing it. I felt good in it. And now I want to find a sewing pattern. So, so off to our anniversary. We went out for dinner. It was good. We tried a new restaurant, so we tried different food. Typically when we go out on a date, we always go to the same restaurant and get the same meal, but we were just feeling like trying something new and I'm glad that we did. It was a new experience. It was fun. It was different and it just wasn't our plain old boring date night. So I really enjoyed myself, but so fit check Sunday. Now this is my last twall of the pattern. I made some changes to the pattern and I'm going to talk about that. So this, so this marking here is where I thought I wanted to cut the sleeves, but I actually want the sleeves sh shorter. All right. I have my invisible zipper just basted in there. I did it lopsided, but don't worry about it. I was just checking for the fit. So now the pattern has a yoke piece that goes along here and then it has a gathered skirt right here. And I will have a picture right here to show you what that pattern looks like. I, talking with my friend Sarah from Diggerella Sews Another, we weren't digging the yoke piece with the gathered skirt. So what I've done is I've omitted the yoke and I've just made a circle skirt pattern piece to attach at the waistline. So it's a bit shorter. I just, I was testing out length because I'm not making it as long as a pattern. So that's your sneak heads up is I'm not making this dress as long as the pattern. I'm actually making it shorter and my husband prefers it that way, of course, right? But I was testing out the length. It's the final pattern's gonna be a bit longer because this was rather short, a bit longer, and then it's gonna have the lace hemming. Um, but that's what I've done. Sarah has really helped me draft this circle skirt and she's also helped me map out how I'm going to cut my pattern pieces on the lace because the lace was very expensive. So with the cost of the lace, I really had to map out how I was going to cut it because I didn't want to buy too little, but I didn't want to buy excess amount. I just actually wanted to buy enough because it was more money than I've ever spent on fabric. But you know what? trying this toile on and loving the way it fit and en envisioning it with that hot pink lace I'm getting really excited for it um I'm just really nervous I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of holding back my excitement a bit because I'm I'm nervous it's expensive fabric I have a vision in my head and I've gone with it Sarah's helped me make that vision a reality with this circle skirt because I even tried I even tried a gathered skirt and I didn't even take a picture. I don't even have a picture of me in here. I was just so excited. I sent Sarah a video, uh, but this wasn't my first choice. I actually had a gathered skirt in and I, it didn't give me the feeling or the vibes I was going for. So this circle skirt is what did it. So that's all for my Friday sews. Um, and that's all for my Fit Check Sunday. I'm hoping for my next Fit Check Sunday episode, it's going to be me cutting into my fabric. Um, but yeah, it, it's been busy. I've been keeping busy. And uh, I hope that you had a wonderful week. I hope that you're having a great summer. Yeah. So thank you so much for being here. And I will see you all next time.